watching a lot of TV and didn't know much about this storm. I thought the storm was going to hit tomorrow, but it came today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to start taking things into account that we didn't think about before, especially because we saw some other news stories that uh, kind of shook us a little bit. Yeah. Um when you live in an RV, you have to you have to consider the weather, and At I think times. we got so caught up in this routine that we're building here in the Atlanta area that we have not been doing that. Mm -hmm. um, the weather has been super nice, blue skies and everything, but it's hurricane season, and you know we're in Georgia now, and we're you know hurricane weather impacts the Atlanta area, yeah. and that's something we need to really think about and consider because when you live in an RV uh, flash floods can be the can be the end of it um, and just not even flash floods but just heavy rains period there's so many things you have to think about and um, keep at the top of mind uh, that you normally wouldn't have to think about just if you had a house or you weren't traveling as much as you are so mm -hmm. one thing is being swept away Right now, we're not on a river, but um, we don't really know much about the area. If it does flood, um, one thing we should have learned from was when we were out in Texas, we were at a park that was on a river, yeah. and you can't take those things for granted because we just learned that a park out in Texas did flood. Everything washed away. The whole RV park, all the RVs, um, I believe there's four people still missing. Mm -hmm. And it's really sad and it, it breaks my heart and I say a prayer for those people because it's scary. One minute, you know, you're enjoying the RV life and the next minute it's gone. Um, so mm -hmm. something like a flash flood can really, uh, can really, yeah, it can be really be devastating. Mm -hmm. And, um, Matter of fact, when we were in Texas at that park where we got warned that, hey, the river floods out here, so you have to be able to move your, your trailer um, should, should you need to, um, you have to be able to do it quickly. And so that same park, there was a hurricane coming this time last year, and we picked up and left. And everybody in the park kind of had this group think mindset of, Oh, it's not gonna flood. You girls are just overreacting. And we were like, we're not gonna play around with that. We're not gonna wait and see. Mm -hmm. And so we actually went west about an hour and a half to Uvalde, Uvalde, Texas. And um, we didn't get uh, impacted by the weather at all. There was no heavy winds, no rain. And now this year, Uvalde is one of the places that's flooded and it's just, it's so real and it's 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 scary because we were just there last year to get away from hurricane weather and this year they're flooded by hurricane weather and so it just kind of it's kind of unsettling because that could have been us um, and so it's really important to just kind of keep up with the weather and also have a plan have a strategy mm -hmm. um, exit plans. you have to have an exit plan and you might not be able to hitch hitch up your RV and get out of there. If it's flash flood or if it's heavy rains, you leave the RV and you just try to protect your family and you go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the RV's insured. This is a material thing just like any other, you know. So at the end of the day, our lives are way more important. And so, you know, we have to take that into account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, one thing I've thought about doing, but I haven't done yet, is actually making us go back which is something that people, all people should probably have. In the event of a disaster or something, you can just grab it and go and it'll have essentials for you to make it through for a couple of days. Um, 
So maybe I'll make that go bag and then we can shoot a video about it to see some of the things that I put in there. Yeah. Um, and have a, we haven't chosen a rally point here. We did when we were in Texas, but if for some reason we're separated, where are we gonna meet up? You know, um, that's not something, we, we haven't chosen that place here. So that, those are some things that we have to sit down and talk about. Yeah. And also, um, while we're on the topic of what to do in an emergency, so even beyond uh, flash floods and things like that, if there's a fire or something and you need to exit the RV and you know you can't get out the front door, mm -hmm. I mean we don't have a back door. All we got is the front door in this one. Um, yeah, our exit. Yeah, we have an emergency exit here. So our emergency exit is right behind us. It's dark right now, so you can't see. So, but we have this red level. Yeah. Here. So this, and then the window slides this way. I'm not going to open it now because it's raining. But you pull this out, slide this out, and this whole thing is big enough for you to fit through. Mm -hmm. um, and the, and the window in our master bedroom is the same window type that slides, except it's just a little bit. Um, it's got a little bit less height on it. But the only thing about that is you have to think about how how high up you are. Mm -hmm. So um, I've heard of some people who have step ladders that they keep outside their emergency windows, just in case they need to use it because it's it's such a far uh, fall down and you don't want to actually hurt yourself trying to get out. But. Yeah, all those drills that we used to do as kids that we thought were stupid, you know you. You know, we might need to think about those things and actually practice something, you know? Um, we have a fire extinguisher in here, but we haven't tested it. <laughs> um, so, you know, there are just things that we need to do in an emergency. Um, yeah. Well, maybe we'll do a, a separate video on all the emergency preparedness that we need to do. I get here. to play with the fire extinguisher. Yeah, yes. you could do that. Can I spray it at you? No. <laughs> I will. Yeah, so you can spray that cam. No. no don't spray it. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just watching him walk. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we just wanted to shoot this quick video real quick just to kind of talk about the dangers of RVing in hurricane weather like this um, and just being aware of that. So, so hold on. Stay, <laughs> stay safe everybody no hang on there we are all right so there are some some things that our viewers should have we don't have them yet there are some uh gadgets out there that'll kind of keep you up to date with what's going on in the weather so you don't have to actually you know have your weather channel app or uh stay tuned to the to the news stations there's, I guess, like a weather radio. I don't know. There's, if you go to like uh, Camping World and some of these RV stores, <laughs> you go to these RV stores, they have stuff like that. And we should probably look into getting something because sometimes um, those weather radios and whatnot, they, they actually have a little bit more detail of what the weather's doing in real time. And it's a little more advanced than using the Weather Channel app, which is what we use right now. And it, it's fine, but we need to just make sure we do it mm -hmm. use it yeah so, anyway stay safe everybody please stay safe we'll see you next time yeah <laughs>